In the 1970s, roller derby was so popular that Hollywood was making movie after movie about it. But as the decade ended, roller derby soon disappeared. Now, thanks to Drew Barrymore and her new movie Whip It, roller derby is back, bigger and better than ever. We had about 15 fresh meat before the movie, and we've had a lot of you know young girls, 13, 14, who want to join, but of course they can't because it's 18 and up, but it's definitely, we've got about maybe 250 people coming today alone. So other than getting to wear really fun outfits, what's so great about this sport? Um, probably the violence. It's very aggressive, it's very, it's very primal, you're out there, you're sweating. It's a sport, but it's, it's not like your typical sport. Not a typical sport? Definitely not. Be prepared to get banged up if you want to give it a try. I put on a pair of skates and tried it with the Derby Girls, and after just two minutes, I knew it was not for me. Yeah, there you go! <laughs> just because I'm too scared to be a Derby Girl, doesn't mean you should be too, but in case of emergencies, the EMT is always there. <laughs> Newest member Meredith said the sport is very empowering and is a great way to let out some anger, but her favorite part is trying out a new move. I like doing the whips and stuff. It's when um, uh, another teammate gives you an arm and whips you in front and um, you build up speed. Having speed is definitely to your advantage in roller derby. This is how it works. There are five girls on each team, four blockers, and one who scores. Each person your scorer passes from the opposing team is a point for her. After two minutes, the team with the most points wins that round. So now that you know how it works, check out your local team and go and give it a try. For BBN3 Miami, I'm Christina Gazia.